Hello, everyone. This is your Sunday evening KRQE.com webcast. Here's Ian Schwartz with a quick look at the forecast. Thanks, Tim. Pretty, pretty meager crop of storms. Most of the action has been in the west and northern part of the state. These will fade out in the next few hours. Gallup Grants can see some storms. And then uh, also maybe Angel Fire and uh, the higher mountain communities. Very hot day on tap for tomorrow. Most of us will be in the low 90s to mid 90s, places like Deming, Roswell, and even here in Albuquerque, it's going to be hot. If we see storms, they will be in the mountains. A slight chance here in Albuquerque, but the heat will be the bigger. Story. Trying to expand those storm chances as we get into Wednesday. One cold front pulls into the region, giving us thunderstorms in the northeast, northern mountains, and east central part of the state. And then another front enters the state Friday. This one uh, a bit stronger, and that'll expand storm chances to central New Mexico and even down into the Roswell area. Here in Albuquerque, best chance for thunderstorms look to be uh, Wednesday, Thursday, but we're going to stick with these warm temperatures, hot temperatures, most of the week. A rescue mission in the Sandia Mountains today for a rock climber who fell about 40 feet near the Sandia Crest. This is video from Sky Ranger flying over the area where a 26 year old man fell off a cliff while rock climbing around 2 this afternoon. A National Guard helicopter was called in to help with the operation. Rescuers were lowered from the helicopter down into the rough terrain to lift the injured climber to safety. It's easy to see why this rescue operation is so dangerous. The terrain is extremely rough. We've been told the man's partner climbed out of the canyon to call 911 and that the injured man is critically injured. With a head injury, another hiker who happens to be a doctor was able to help early on. This is still a developing story. We'll, of course, have more in our later newscast. Two motorcycles met up with an SUV this morning in northwest New Mexico, and the results were deadly for two people. The crash happened just before 10 this morning on U.S. Highway 550 north of Aztec. According to the San Juan County Sheriff's Office, three motorcycles were traveling southbound when an SUV pulled out of a county road in front of them. Two of the motorcycles hit the vehicle. A man on one of the motorcycles, 43-year-old Michael Shockley of Louisiana, was killed. 78-year-old David Hutchison of Aztec was also killed. He was the driver of the SUV. Another motorcycle rider suffered minor injuries, as well as a passenger in the SUV. Highway 550 was down to one lane for a while, but it is fully open now. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.